Okay, guys, check this out. We got this awesome 2019 Impact by Fusion. This is a 3219. Check this out. You got a back power awning. It's going to cover the patio, which is awesome. This is a great door. I was going to unlock it, but it looks like it is currently right now locked. Um, I did see this actual tail light right here is chipped a little. That's one of the only things I've even seen on it. So I can ask service how much that tail light would be. Outside, I've got all the... Uh, thermal pane windows out here outside looks good this is just part of the skirting that you see but you do have these beautiful decals you got blue lights and the speakers up top the awning looks really good I doubt he ever really had this out the only light out here though is right there on the above the door so you could do some cool like blue skirt lighting or LED lights on the awning I opened it all the way up to see I don't see any lights on it right now I um, but comes with one interstate battery in here and then right now it's got the uh, pasture area you do have an area for your cable right here for your TV got some lights in the underbelly right here comes with a uh, hose here for the wash and you got the override the, uh, the slides right there these are the gas shocks and these are slam latches which are really nice so those are gonna be rad gotta use two hands so that is very nice. You do have six point auto leveling here. There is a little gap in this trim so I can see if they can fix that too. Um, as we come around, you can see the LED lights on the front. Looks really good. Over here, this is where you actually turn the lights on for the front cap. This is where your propane is, which is cool. This is your generator. So you're gonna have a 5,500 watt. This only has like 16 or 19 hours on it. I'll show you inside. Over here, this is where you're gonna have your 50 amp cord. You're gonna have all your hookups right here. So you got your battery disconnecting on and off, which is awesome. You got your hose for your squirt that I showed you. You got your gray tank, black tank, your hose, tank flush, all that's all right here. So you got that. I think that's an inverter. I just can't tell what this is exactly is right here. Um, so that's cool. I might be able to pull the build sheet on this since we sold it. Um, this is probably, let me see if I have a key on me. I do. Let's just do it and find out. But on the outside, you're gonna see the slide is in right now. Looks like this trim piece just slid down or a little bit came off. Tires look good. You got your fuel station down there. I believe it's a 30, 35 tank. Um, let's see. See if I can get this little gate open. Oh my gosh, this is how it always goes, guys. When the trailer knows I'm doing a video, it's like, yeah, right, just joking. Well, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure that's just like a hose hookup. But you've got right here your hose right here. So everything's off that. Again, this is only 35 feet long. This is your hot water heater. It is a 10 and a 12 gallon. That's a very good size. Most of them are six. This is where your hydraulic fluid is for the slides. That's your leveling system right here, instructions. That's gonna be what's inside this. Let's see if I can open it, okay. You got auto leveling, front, back, you got all that, which is super cool. This guy is gonna be 16,700 pounds and dry. Actually, it can carry almost 5,600 pounds. So it's around 11,000 give or take pounds which is awesome so and again this is a normal type of hitch which is great not a gooseneck all right let's go on in you've got three steps right here that fold in this is a friction hinge door so it's gonna just kind of hold itself the screen door is nice because if you have a dog or something they can see out but it also latches so it's coming in check out how cool it is so I right now I have the slide in. So this is it. It has like these cool blue lights, patio kit, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the slide out. Fridge is eight cubic. It's electric or gas. You've got a three burner stove. You've got a little oven, microwave, fan above. You got the two bunks in the back. I love the colors in here. It's so pretty. Look how nice this is. Love it. So let's bring the awning back in. I think it's right here. 
So we'll put retract. You can see out here, it's just coming on in. Now this is a cool one because none of the arms are near doors, which is nice. So you can see that, but I'll kind of focus in on here. You got the furnace under the stairs, which is cool. And then you've got uh, the hardwood floor all the way throughout. Carpet only in the bedroom, which is gonna be nice for winter or cold places. These are crank windows, so they're gonna crank out and in. They do have the accordion shades. That's the difference between a fusion and a impact. You get these in an impact accordion. Um, in the actual fusion, you get the other option where it's the roll shades. You've got one air conditioner uh, controller in here and then another one in the bedroom. You've got a furnace, a uh, Furion access is for a Wi-Fi. You can basically, it's got a Wi-Fi router kind of built in. You can kind of talk to service on exactly what that does, but just wanna let you know it's got that. Cute little pocket door right here. You've got a nice little bathroom sink in here. Medicine cabinets here. Hey guys, you've got a uh, little fan vent right there. This is an air conditioning vent. It's got three sliding doors here for the shower. A little light in here, a skylight. Three shelves in here for towels. Laundry hamper, pretty cool. Another door, you got a towel holder. Racks up here for towels. Um, this does glow at night, so if you wanna see when you're going to the bathroom. Ceramic toilet, so that's cool. It's got the step right here, so you just step on it. In here, you're gonna have the uh, closet. So it's got some hanging bars, two drawers. Down there, it's got a spot for a basket. And then you have a nightstand that, um, this again, will measure the bed, but you've got these little things. Built in little rack up here. I love the color of this here, it's so pretty. So this does not have a TV in the bedroom, um, but you could have one installed. It's usually around $500 if you want that done. Um, you could have another air conditioner in here, like I said. Um, let's see. Uh, this does lift up. You got your power cord and a lot of storage. So I will measure this for you. Um, again, you'll have room for that bed there. So these are emergency exits. That would be a very long fall, but at least you can get out. They push out. That one pushes out. Again, you got these blinds up here. Everything looks good. Smoke alarm. Oh, I love a song. Okay, you do have your fuse box down here. Let's see. One piece sink. This does come out right here. Oh, and I will zoom in on this. 16.9 hours in the generator. This is gonna be your gas, uh, basically on for your uh, heat, or no, the gas on for the water heater or electric and then your water pump. So this is gonna show you your black tank your gray tank, your battery, and your fresh tank right there. Pretty cool. Those are your two slide buttons. But you got lots of cabinet space. These are kind of like a gray color. This would be really cute for like, you could put cups up here or like food, paper plates, whatever. Nice counter space. You've got some drawers here. They're not huge, but they are gonna help hold stuff. Got a little spot in there. There's a board for all the cords, but you could do like little trash in there if you want. Bottle opener, guys. Love that. Uh, that's your furnace intake, but I like how they made it match. Plug in right there. You got a drawer right here for pots and pans. It's a tiny little oven, but it does work. Three burner stove. You got a regular microwave up here for popcorn or whatever. Baked potatoes. Maybe put some little tiny pans in there. You got an eight cubic fridge. Look at that. Looks so clean. It really looks like it's ever been used. Propane or electric. So you got the TV over here. Drew Barrymore's going crazy. Um, let's see. So that the speakers are coming out of the actual TV. I'm going to turn this off real quick. If I can find it. There is a power button over here, so you know. And it is on a um, tilt, so it can come out. Or strap down. This is indoor outdoor speakers. It's also hooked up typically for a DVD player into this TV right now. Um, you got these recliners right here. They can move all around. Um, you've got look at the blue light up top. Super cool. I love this trailer. 
Tons of room. This is gonna be a bed or it can strap up against the wall. It's a couch. There's a table on the bed in there that would come in here. You can kind of put it wherever you want. These have hinges on them that do not smash your hands when you're trying to get in there. Which is nice. They'll stay open. And then the beds right now, let me see if these are gonna work for us. Yeah, so this does have the porch kit and fire extinguisher in here. And again, you have the on and off the back. So. So you do have to put pins in to help hold this up, but this does have, yeah, I can see, you can't really see, but I can. There's a cup holders in the middle of the couches that flip up for these chairs. So, and they've got two legs, it looks like. So it's good. So I'll put these back up so you can see. This is a super clean trailer. I can't believe this is even still here. So it looks good. You got the diamond plate right there. The porch kit's awesome. There's no stairs on it, but that's okay. Um, and again, you've got the awning. The awning's an upgrade. You don't always get that in these. So that's a good one. It looks like as of right now, um, this is your, I don't know what this light switch is. There's something, I'm not sure what. But uh, you also have plug-in right here. Plug-in there. So looks good, you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, bye.